Oh, look at those ears. Whoa, flat back. <laughs> well, that's why I have to stand up. I'm getting him some water. How come you're doing that? He needs a supplement for water. Oh, okay. Because he yeah. <laughs> to the brand. Yeah. Oh, right. Good thinking. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Gabby is the brains of the operation. Um, today's video is all about Sam, our barn dad, our horse dad, our family dad, the it's man. 50. He's 49. He's 49. Did you guys know I'm a cougar? Is that what it's called? I married a man younger than me. Sam is 11, 10 months younger than me. I think they have to be like a lot younger than you to be a cougar, right? But anyway, yeah. So I'm older than Sam, but for the next two months, we are going to be the same age. We are both 49. So, so you're 50. I'm 49. Oh. <laughs> I will be 50 on my birthday in two more months. Two more oh, months in three, four days, five days. This is what we have to do. Then we have to chase him off of our food. All right. Well, remember. Until he stops putting his ears. He stopped putting Okay, give him his food. No, wait. Oh my gosh. All right, so we are at the part of our horsey journey now where I am about to start challenging the things that you guys say. I don't want to do it. I've been holding myself back, but there are things that you guys say that I don't understand because it seems different to me than the way you guys say it. So be prepared for some challenging comments coming up in future videos because I want to start telling you guys how I feel about things. Like, you get more bees with honey. When you be kind to your horse and you show them kindness and love and they like act bees. kind. <laughs> That's true, you don't. Last year and this year I didn't get some. Yeah, she's, not, she's missing my point there. You're missing my point there, sister. I know what you meant. Well, yeah. But anyways, be kind to your horse. Be kind. Horses bond with love. They don't bond with fear and intimidation. And so many people tell me that you need to do this and tell them you're the boss. And that message does not work for us. Our horses must be that different. That doesn't work for you. Yeah, it, it doesn't work for, for you. No, it doesn't. You think it does, it works Gabby? for me. No. No, they're good. It's just me. Yeah, there's... Because I'm the boss, they know. There's a difference between being good and being submissive. A horse that submits to you and just like a child that submits to you because out of fear, it's a whole different ball game than a horse that submits to you out of love and respect. Totally different things, you guys. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. My job now is to teach Gabby. But anyway, it is Sam's birthday, and today is going to end with cake. Hello there, Gracie girl. You were messing with my bucket, weren't you? Were you messing with my horse bucket, my poop bucket? Oh, I am so excited to spend more time with you. Yes. Should this horse, you guys, this horse, like, you know how you meet horses and some? That was disgusting. And I like this outfit too. Gross. You know how you meet some horses and you're like, oh, a horse. And then you meet other horses and you're like, oh, a horse. And you just love them easily, naturally. And they just have like a big part in your heart. It's Gracie. Grace does that for me. And the reason is because, and hopefully you guys will see this in future videos, but this girl is so underappreciated, I feel like. Like she is brave and bold and forward and fast and super athletic and she's, she's a lot like Finn. She doesn't like she this girl I'm telling you she is she's like a person. She is determined. She is like a woman after my own heart. She I love her. Yeah. She's like I'm going in there and she she will try like she's an amazing little girl. And she's young and flirty and fun and engaging. And I think that's the biggest thing about Gracie. She is engaging. We should do a video all about each horse. Did you guys hear me? Good morning, Sophie. Hey, you. Don't bite people. That's right. We are not a biting family, Willow. <laughs> we need to all be able to be together safely. Okay? She loves you. Yeah, she does love you. Could you teach her to love Gracie? No. You gotta bond with her. I know, you gotta bond. Oh no, bond. Gracie will, if I walk them side by side, Gracie will pin her ears and I just tell her off. Hey! hey. Back up! Back up! Good girl. Well that was nicer. 
I don't know if that was right, but good job, sister, being kind. Well, uh, Do you hi. think Willow's jealous? Oh, yeah. yes. Hi. That's so why she acts like that. Yeah, jealous girl. Don't you know we got you way before Gracie, and we'll always love you. You'll always be our littlest. <laughs> She's like, don't touch my hair. You'll always You'll be <laughs> my favorite out of You'll mom. always be our favorite miniature hi. horse. Hi. She's looking good, too. She's skinny. She's a skinny mini. She's not skinny. She looks good. And then this thing is a chubby pony. No, look at it. She's not so chubby anymore. She's getting better and better. Slow and steady wins the race. You don't want to starve her. No, but look at you guys. Our family is a family divided. We've got team one, Gabby and Gracie. Team two is Sophie and Willow. She's like, wait, you did not give me a treat from the last time I backed up. <laughs> so, tell us about your ride with Finn yesterday. Did you like it or did you hate it? I liked it. I yeah. just needed gloves. Yeah, so that's something we'll remember from now on. Gloves, because... So I forgot mine. But it was pretty crazy, huh? Uh, kind of. Yeah. not know this because we don't show it all the she time likes to go on trails the girls play with the minis all the time she's gonna climb under Gabby she's smart close the door they do that goes back to what I was saying before she wants to go out and do stuff oh gosh Want to go on a trail ride? No. Small trail ride. Just, just to do something the horses like. Gracie loves going on trails. Would you? Did you hear Shayla say Gracie loves going on trails? And she does. She just learned to use it playing. It's like treats. I know you have carrots or apples. I know you always have carrots and apples. Wow, could you go any faster? Uh, it's a tight turn, Mom. Well, watch how fast we can go. I should also point out that um, there are a lot of things that you guys said that I didn't understand that are exactly correct. Like when you guys told us that we were prolonging the process of Storm and Finn adjusting to one another. Yeah, you were right. Soon as they had time to just hang out and do it and adjust, it happened faster and it happened easier and made a massive difference in Finn. But a small area like what where we had them was not the right place to do it I feel like because there was not enough room for Finn to get away so uh, one thing I worry about have been worrying about lately is that there's not enough pasture out there for them right now because I notice that they're unsettled out there like they don't want to stay out there all day and I'm like there's so much grass why don't you want to stay um, so you guys should know that um, we always give them hay at night when they come in to their stall and then this happens like storm <laughs> I don't know. Dad, no. gave him too much hay. Dad gave him too much hay. Holy cow. And like it's a heavy bale too. Yeah, that was dumb. So I I have been reading and researching and talking to our trainers and Finn Finn has hay left too. And um 
I don't think our, our, our paddock is not dried out yet. Like I don't think the grass is gone yet. They're still eating lots and I took a walk through there. I took a walk through there and there's lots of like grass like pretty high still. Like a lot of it. A lot of green fresh grass still. So I don't know. I don't know. Then there's it's a big enough field for them, I feel like. But anyway, yeah. It is what it is. I know you guys will give me whatever advice you have to tell if when our paddock um, isn't sufficient for them anymore. But like I said, we've always given them hay at night, so they always still have had hay at night. I just want to make sure that they're getting what they need during the day. Say happy birthday. Did you enjoy your morning free from the horses? No, it was like I uh, didn't know what I was doing. I should be doing it. I know. Does it feel good to do it? <laughs> because mom is yeah. Like... yeah, it feels good to take care of the horses. But instead, for his birthday, we robbed him of the joy of caring for the horses. Today, we are in outfit number one again. So uh, for Sam's birthday, he wants to do something that he's never asked to do before, so we're going to do it. Uh, we're doing it after the weekend though because we have like a lot of stuff coming up on the weekend. So Sam wants to go to Toronto, which is a couple hours away, and he wants to go out for supper and do something fun for his birthday. So we are. We're going to spend the day in Toronto. We're going to shop. We're going to go out for his birthday dinner on Monday. What are you doing? Are you wiping your nose? Are you wiping your nose? I swear you're wiping your nose on me. Who did this with the bread? Sophie. Sophie and bread do not get along. Oh, I dropped the bread. Oh, now you tell me. <laughs> okay, so anyways, that is what's going to oh, happen. So stay tuned for Sam's birthday episode of the Day by Day Vlogs. All right, so here's the good thing about homeschool. We are at the point where the girls can do their independent work Mom. and Sam and I are going to oh, go no. and, and buy a cake. Sam and I are traveling to get his cake. He's gonna pick up his cake. Girls are finishing their last minute of homeschool. Uh, and I have some sad news to share. So uh, basically, you guys have noticed that Stella had an injection a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, and it's not made really a difference at all. There's a slight increase at the beginning and then and not much. It's been increasingly difficult to trot with her uh, when on the left rein, I think that's what it's called. Um, and it's really hard for her and I couldn't do it. If you guys watched yesterday's lesson video with me, then you'll see that like, we really struggled and I can't ride her if she's struggling. Like that's just awful. So I called the vet and he's gonna come very he's gonna come next week and we're gonna recess her. We're gonna start from scratch because obviously her hawk is maybe not the issue um, if the shot did not make that much of a difference. So that means we are back at scratch, but the difficult part is that. Fiona feels like she's just fine with Gabby or Sophie on her, that she trusts, she trusts fine, she does well with a lighter rider, and that maybe I'm not compatible with Stella, and that is sad, because that would mean that I would never get to ride her again. So that's sad, and that's terrible, but we have to do whatever's right for Stella. But here's where it gets really tricky. Um, one, I already told you guys, still is not a throwaway horse. We would always keep her. Like I said, we always have kids. We're going to have kids all the time that will be able to ride her. And um, for us, the value of a horse is not specifically riding. It's having a relationship. So, having said that, how ironic is it that we bought a mini to keep Stella company and then we bought another another horse to keep that horse company so I could ride Stella. So now we have three horses that we can't even ride. Like, yeah, how ironic is that?
doing? No box. We went shopping. We left the girls and went shopping and we came back and they're in the exact same spot. Oh, Mom, look what I got. I was almost there for my like charging. An hour. Listen, we need to go throw hay. So we got a cake. I didn't even get to see the cake. Very good. No, you said you want the carrot cake. I said, yeah, okay, but I didn't get to look at it. Oh. So buying cake in our family is so difficult because we all like different things and we are all noisy people about what we like. Gabby, are you going to be able to Oh, I'm going to cut. Right. Cardboard cut. This is it. Ooh. Oh, it's green. Yeah. It's, it's green. But yeah. most importantly, I got a cardboard cut on my finger. Yeah, more important than dad's cake is Gabby's cut. So you know what else I bought? So uh, we went shopping to get a few things. We got it for Sam's birthday. I also got some uh, stuff. For the girls, so tomorrow for we can school. Hang out on their stalls. Yeah, you guys are gonna make wreaths, Halloween, like Thanksgiving Day wreaths. Got all the stuff Ooh, in here. Bleed it now. Oh my gosh, you poor little girl. Um, and I got you a pair of socks for Halloween. Would you like a pair of socks for Halloween? Mm. What? You grew out of Halloween socks? It's because they're not horseback riding socks. Horse but they're tall. Socks are the best. Socks. But they're I'll so the tall. Orange, all right, are you good with black? Which is. You need these ones. <laughs> no, no hate. <laughs> um, we got some Halloween themed oh, napkins and paper plates because every year we spend hours doing dishes after Thanksgiving. Yeah, you guys are gonna make your. Put these in slime. No, you're gonna make wreaths, and I got this that to go on it. Leave all that. We'll look at that tomorrow. That's for tomorrow. I also got shampoo because last night I literally dreamed that there was no shampoo and then I was walking around for days trying to figure out how I was going to wash my hair and it's true. There was no shampoo so I needed to get some. I think God was trying to tell me, don't forget to get the shampoo. Anyway, we got to go down to the barn and feed. at the door uh, Gracie uh, because she's locked inside because the mean girls won't let her out the mean girls were inside oh hi and sweet Gracie girl you guys ready for some hay it's literally the saddest thing about Stella like I don't know what's gonna happen when I called the vet this morning he's like you know what I'll come out and we'll see what we need to do to get her going well I don't know what's gonna happen and uh, there's no sense getting all worked up and stressed out because I am <laughs> stressed out. But if the worst thing that happens is that Stella... <laughs> <laughs> Look at the hairs on your nose. <laughs> She's like, hello, talk to me. Oh, you're such a cute pony. What happened to your body? Oh, I love her. If the worst thing that ever happened is that all we can do, Stella and I, is go for long walks on trails like easy trails, not like a horse country campground. But if that's all we can do, then I'm I'm good with that. I'd make it my life's goal to find amazing, nice, soft trails that the girls and I can take our horses on on weekends. Soft trails are boring. Who you cares? It's boring. For five hours, then your butt hurts. I don't care. I think that if that's all I can do with Stella, because the one thing about Stella is that she wants to go places and she wants to get out. Like, she doesn't want to just sit in a in a field and have no grass and have no like so yeah like it's so sad though like same with Gracie I know all of our horses For 
all the stuff we've learned and for all the stuff I know now about horses, there's still so uh, much that I have no idea about. Like, no idea. Like, we are trying to uh, ready the boys' field to put our new shelter in it that's coming next week. And yes, Em and I are struggling. We're struggling. We have to build it up a little and yeah, it's a I learning curve. Aid. Okay, everybody just stop the vlog, hold the presses. Something horrible happened to Gabby. She was opening a cake box and with my finger got a band-aid. She fell off a, a fast and moving horse yesterday, almost did a somersault, and that's fine. But today she got a band-aid. It's on my finger, like the top <laughs> of my finger. And it's like the worst place to get it. Yeah, like what are you gonna do? Band-aids don't ever fit. Yeah, and how will you ride now when you when you, with, with a band-aid? Yeah. And then it doesn't fall off, but then I'll stre stretch out my gloves. So I'm wearing Brooklyn. All right, so poor Band-Aid girl. Everybody comment below and no, don't. tell you Gabby don't. how sad you feel for her that she got a Band-Aid. I would probably get like 10,000 people saying that. <laughs> it is Sam's birthday and I ordered him a present and it didn't come yet, but it'll probably be here tomorrow. So he's going to get it tomorrow. Something thoughtful. Something that I wanted him to have from the bottom of my heart to keep him comfortable during this winter riding season that is about to arrive. So stay tuned for that. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear dad. Happy birthday to you. Ruby wants a piece. <laughs> Ruby. I know, poor Sam. He always has the worst birthday, but this is not his birthday. We are celebrating his birthday on a Monday because we have a lot of stuff happening. Why don't, oh, because we're going out of town and we, have, we can't go until Monday. But yeah, uh, we're going to celebrate. So stay tuned for Sam's birthday part two. Oh, and on Sam's birthday, wait till you see what we're going to get to do. It's going to be the craziest tax haul shopping video on earth for Sam's birthday. <laughs> Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.